So here's the battery pack to my homemade electric tricycle. It's 24 amp hours, 52 volts, and it gets me around pretty well. It actually gets me around really well, but I could deal with some more range. For the past few months, I've been working on making a second battery pack to add onto that, made of these lithium cells. And look at all these. They're all tested. I've been going through and testing them. And also, you can obviously tell that I've 3D printed some frames for them to hold them nice and secure. I made this 3D model. I put it up on Thingiverse, and you can download it if you really need. I would recommend you editing it and changing it to whatever dimensions you need for your project, but this worked for mine. The black ones are different from the blue ones because these are 6 wide by 8, and these are 7 by 8, because I want, I want it to totally be 8 by 13 or so. Yeah, I think it's 8 by 13. Now I have extra cells in here, so what we're going to do is we're going to sort the cells in this video. And then the weakest cells, I'll, I'll take out and use it for something else, but then we'll have the, the, the biggest cells in here. Now first off, we need to remove all these cells from these frames. Now for the next bit of organizing, we need to lay them out from lowest capacity to highest capacity. And to make that easier, I'm going to uh, mount them up into sections for every 100 milliamp hour. So like 1900 will go here, 1800 will go here, 1900, 1900, 2000 will go over here, then we'll have like 2100 and stuff like that. So we need 104 cells. And looks like I have 115, so that's good because it turns out that there's like 10 or so that are just, I guess I put them in the wrong bin, and they're way below 1800 milliamp hours, somewhere down to 1400. So I'm not going to bother using those, and we still have these with one left over. So I'll probably take out something like one of the lower ones, like 1815, that'll probably go out. And the rest are higher than that, so that's good. We have the 1800 milliamp hours, 1900 milliamp hours, 2000 milliamp hours, 2100 milliamp hours, 2200 and 2300 milliamp hours. Now let's organize them into a line from least capacity to highest capacity. And so here we have the cells starting under 1815, all the way going up, and cutting into here, and going up to 2334. Now theoretically, since all these cells are sequentially lined up, if I take four from the highest end, and four from the lowest end, that makes one pack, then four, and four, and if I keep doing that, theoretically, it should keep the cells, uh, the entire packs, around the same capacity. So let's, I'll do the math and we'll find out. Well, it looks like I miscounted. I didn't have like 115, I only had like 108. So I was about six cells short of the pack that was out here and I had most of those cells in the extra pile so whenever I was done sorting them I only had 12 packs and two cells left over I moved six cells over to we have this pack all these packs work great they're all very close my method worked wonderfully but I miscounted so this one's not the same kind of capacity as the other ones let's look at the numbers he did a very good job of keeping them around 16,000 to 16,800 or so that's a very acceptable amount of balancing on there. It's a very small amount of deviation. And then we have that one that's down to like 14,800 milliamp hours. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get like the 16,713 one, which is that. And I might swap out some bits, like the 1809 with the 2079, and that would drop that down by 300 milliamp hours and drop this one up by 300 milliamp hours. And just do a couple things like that, swap things around until I have them closer. That would also help by removing some of the higher capacity cell, uh, some of the extra capacity from these other packs, and moving them into that one. You know, this is actually quite fun. 
So by switching out one cell, I've already gotten this one down to 16,360 and this one up to 15,171. I'm only going to do one cell at a time because it's a very small amount and I don't want to screw things up. Now this one, I want to get it up a little bit more. I would like to get them all up to 16,000. I, th I think that's possible. There's enough to move around in here. And the next highest one is this one, 16,626. So it's that pack. Now with this one, I think I can trade... Let's see... We can do a 2091 for... Actually, no, if we did this, it would be 1779. These are pretty close, though, so that will only be giving it 50 milliamp hours. So let's go for one of the higher ones, like the 2322. And let's trade an 1809. So that would be 500 milliamp hours. So that would get this one down to 16,100 or so. And we'll get this one up to 15,000, about 700. So that's, that, yeah, that'd be good. That's on the right track. And now I'll recalculate them. Well, look at that. Now we're only down to a difference of one amp hour between the highest and lowest cells. So I think what I'll do is I'll grab one cell from here. Let's see. Uh, 2063. Look at that at 20, uh, 1779. That should bring it up by 300 milliamp hours or so. That may bring it up to like 16,000. Oh my god, so close to 16,000. Okay, let's see. We'll do that one, 16,619, which is that one. We can give it 1787 for a 2032. Let's try that then. Oh yeah, look at that, 16,200. That's what I'm talking about right there. Now the big difference is 16,000 to 16,500. That's these two packs. Do you know what? I think I might actually just swap these out a little more just to get it a little closer. So let's go 2266 to 1860. Maybe about 400. I don't know how I feel about that, because that would bring that down to 16100. They're already pretty close. We need, to, we need to go by a smaller increment. We'll go 2150 with 2273. There we go. And look at that! 16,155 and 16,405. That's that's good enough to me. It's Every cell is under a third of an amp hour away from all the other cells. That's pretty good. I'm quite happy with that. So now, these cells will be configured in a way to where each, each pack, each cell is connected in parallel so all the positives are together and all the negatives are together. Although I'm going to be putting a, like a fuse between each one. So there'll be a main bus bar, and then there'll be a fuse go going between it on one side. Then the other side will have just connected all together. And actually how this will work out is that I only have like one long bar, or one long wire going across like the negative side of one pack, and then fuses going across. So if, if power wants to go through from one side to the other, it can go through here slowly. But if one cell breaks, all of the power from these goes through the 4 amp fuses into this one 4 amp fuse and pops it. So that'd be a good safety measure. I got this little 4 amp pico fuses to connect to it. So yeah, with these you just hook all these in parallel and, put, and hook these packs in series and there you go. That's your battery. And the cells will be nice and e nicely configured. I'm not quite sure of a good name to call that because I want to call it balancing the cells, but balancing is when you're charging it. Oh well. But yeah, you're balancing the, the total capacity of the cells.